What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. <sighs> Guys, have you noticed there have been so many ladies out here posting these revenge bodies in the first part of the year? There's first Tia Maori in her alleged cat suit. There is Holly Berry posting a cat suit. And then there is Jeannie Mai posting a revenge body. Trying to let everybody know that while she's celebrating her 45th birthday, she still got it. She still flies. She's still looking good. Now, I don't know why she out there in the goddamn snow, but naked. Damn near. I mean, I know you out there cold, right? I know you cold. But let me just tell you, like, this is all for the clout. And let me tell you this, uh, guys. I've dated people secretly. Let's say folks who are in the industry. I won't call names. People who are big time influencers. And I noticed that these people will do anything for clout. There is nothing that they won't do for any level of attention. They don't give a damn about anybody who really cares about them. No, they are so concerned about continuously impressing people who don't give a damn about you. You see, and this is what the, a lot of these ladies fail to realize. You see, let me just talk about this. Brother Kevin Samuels, somebody made a real of Brother Kevin Samuels talking about the mentality of a modern woman. Right. I want you guys to listen to this and then I'm going to come back. You can't just pick women based on looks. You have to understand a woman's mindset. And if her mindset is modern, you got to go. It doesn't matter what comes. And you only judge women based upon their actions. Give every woman, the give women in general, the benefit of the doubt. And see, a lot of ladies aren't going to like what I'm about to say. But in my way, I say this. Look at a woman that even if you're dealing with, Assume that she means the best. Um, assume her heart's in the right place. It doesn't matter. It comes down to your actions. That is all important. Because this clip is for successful men that have options and opportunities. Right? So I want to start just right there. You're a man that got options and opportunities. Good ones. Right? Now, you're dealing with a lady like Jeannie Mai, who is, let's just be honest, she talks back, she's disrespectful, she's rude. I ain't got to say it, she said it before. Okay? She has no level of accountability, nothing like that, and she doesn't listen. She even said that Jeezy used to check her about her attitude, and Fred Hartis left you. Jeezy left you. Now what you want to do is show off your revenge body and that's good that you are in shape. But you're now a single mom, right? And you're 45. And it's great that you are in shape. But you know, that won't keep you. It'll get you in, but it won't keep you because there are other women that got revenge bodies that look good. But what women fail to realize is how do you act how do you act you see i was watching this clip and this psychiatrist or psychologist rather breaking down that women love with their emotions and their feelings their loyalty is based on their feelings and as long as their feelings are there right their their love and loyalty is there once it leaves it's gone right but on the opposite side men we have the ability to love a woman even when our feelings for her are gone because we like to honor our commitments. So what, what kind of woman do you have to be for a man to say, I don't want to honor my commitment to you anymore? Do you know how terrible that you have to be for a man to do that? Do you know how many men stay married to women that they don't love, they don't like, they, but because they're honoring their commitment? Oh, it's a lot of men do that. A lot of men say, I will never, ever get married again. 
So the problem, ma'am, is not what you look like. The problem for Tia Maori is not what you look like. The problem is how you act. And a guy doesn't want to put up with that at all. A man doesn't want to put up with that. You see? This is what you guys don't understand. So you continue to, to try to floss for people who don't even care about you. Clout chasing. Anything for people who don't like them. People who would, if the woman had a chance to sleep with your guy, they would do it. And that's what you always see. A lot of clout chasing, impressing people, taking advice from people who ain't doing a damn thing for you. Yet the person who's doing something for you, you're too silly to realize that. Ain't that what Tyree's wife said? She divorced the guy who, who cared about her, loved her, for somebody who can't do anything for you. Then when you get out there, and then you kind of find out that you're about to get passed around, and you're out there randomly getting clapped up, and getting cheeks clapped by somebody who can barely read and write, now all of a sudden, it's, you know what? <laughs> I, I need to, oh my God. I, I, I basically need to, to try to go back to the guy. No, and then by that time, it's too late. By that time, it's entirely too late because all you care about are things that are not tangible. A lot of women are caught up in vanity. How I look, how kind of, what kind of BBL um, do I have? How fat is my booty? You know, because it, it didn't work out with the last guy. And even though it's my fault, it didn't work out. But you know what? No, I'm going to keep working on my looks. Here's what a man wants, that you want to have money. Do you follow the instructions? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I know y'all think that's a terrible thing to say, right? What do you mean follow instructions? Well, I'm, I'm gonna, let, me, let me put it to you like this, honey. You want a man to appease to what you're asking him to do, right? Yes. So when you want money, you want a man to give you money, right? You're going to say yes. When you want a man to buy you a house, you want a man to buy you a house, right? Yes. Okay. And so when you need something from a man, he's supposed to give it to you, right? Yes. See, that's called following instructions when a man does that. Okay. When a man does that, that's following instructions. See, men, we follow instructions too. When we give in to the wheels of what you want to do, what we are doing is following instructions. But oh my God. Oh my God. Y'all are mad now. But now when a man says, I don't want you going out. I don't want you doing this. I don't want you doing that. Okay. Don't want you doing this. Be home at this time. Oh, now. Oh, you're controlling. Oh, you're controlling. You're controlling. You're controlling. Oh, my God. You're controlling. Why? No, 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 no. A man wants something for his investment. And if you cannot listen, you're out. And that's what Jeannie Mai is doing. She wants what she wants from the men that she's dealing with. But when they ask her to do something, you got a problem with it. This is So you can work on your body as long as you want. If, if Men have seen better bodies. Boo. Men have seen in shape bodies. Men have seen bigger booties. Men have seen softer booties. Men have seen bigger tops. All right? There's nothing that you, that, that you don't have that they ain't seen. Especially a man that got money. But if you can't listen... If you're not willing to follow what the, the, the order that a man wants to put in his life, he's a real man, he wants to lead. If you can't do that, you're not going to be there. You can work on your body as much as you want. How about working on your disposition? How about working on your attitude? But there's so many ladies out, there, ladies out there, I believe that you want the men to do what you want them to do. And um, you don't want to do anything they're asking you to do. Which again, it's called not being fair. This is why so many guys don't trust you. So, guys, who you think you should watch Shady Jackson? Back at it again for the episode of The Slurpy Junk. Put your fire, you just heard the bell. We're out.